Hello, my name is Jeff Batt with Kinetic Media, and welcome to Building jQuery Mobile Apps Using Version 1.4.2 and Above. Now, a lot of this content will apply to later and earlier versions of jQuery Mobile, so keep that in mind is once you're watching these videos, if it's a later version of jQuery Mobile, then this, a lot of the content still will apply, so not to worry about that. Now, if you do want to check to see, okay, what is the latest version, let's go ahead and pull up jQuerymobile.com is the best place to go. So I'm going to type in jQuerymobile.com. This will allow me to see what the latest code is and make sure that I have the latest code, down the co download the code as well. So um, once I'm on jQuerymobile.com, over on the right-hand side is where I can do the latest stable and download that code. I can also see what version it is. In this case, it's version 1.4.2. And also the jQuery, the most up-to-date jQuery mobile versions, um, and get that type of information here. Now on jQuerymobile.com, you can also uh, download the content, customize the download. You can look at the API documentation. You can look at the themes, resources, blog, and find out more about jQuery mobile. Well, I want to make sure that I'm using the code in the most up-to-date way because sometimes when jQuery Mobile updates its code, it changes the format of how you can actually mark it up. Now, it'll still work um, in earlier versions if you still use that same type of format, but in this case, I just want to make sure that I'm up-to-date and using that type of code. So I'm going to click on this Demos button and then come down to where it says the latest stable version and come down to jQuery Mobile 1.4.2 Demos. Now this will give me a demo version and it actually shows me how to use the different elements inside of jQuery Mobile. jQuery Mobile actually takes your markup, your uh, HTML, and it, it makes it mobile compatible. And so it automatically with the, just the simple attributes, adding on a couple attributes to your HTML, it makes it look really good inside of mobile, whether it be for tablets or whether it be for phones. And that's the, the power behind jQuery mobile is the fact that you don't have to spend a lot of time to make it look like it's mobile optimized. You can just add on a couple attributes and, um, and mark up the different content in different ways and then use some of these different elements that you can see on the left hand side to really take advantage of the mobile optimized version of jQuery mobile or of jQuery. So in this case we have different types of things like date picker, grids, icons, list views which is like a table view, um, nav bars, navigation, pages, you can navigate to different pages while staying within the same HTML, panel, pop-up, sliders, tables, tabs, text inputs, theming, all sorts of different kinds of things that you can do. Now if you wanted to make sure that you have the latest uh, way of marking up a button for example, so it looks good on jQuery mobile, I'm going to click on this buttons icon over on the left hand side. Now it'll give me a list of all the different types of buttons that I can do, but if I just want to see the basic markup, I'm going to click on that and click on, the, I can see what it's going to look like visually here, but I'm going to click on view source and this is going to give me my source. Now it's going to give me the source for both buttons that I see above there but in this case you only really need to use like the href button if you want to use the button tags you can um, typically what I've seen is just the href um, button basically so that will give me the code I can copy that and I can paste it right into my HTML um, if I need to know okay what is the date picker how what's the code for that um, I can see what the date picker is going to look like and then I can come to view source and get the code for that as well. So this is probably the most useful uh, piece of information that you can have and uh, reference that you can use when you're building jQuery mobile apps. The next question might be, okay, what does jQuery mobile actually do? I'm going to pull up this example. This is just a reference app. Let me go ahead and just uh, hide that content before. But this is a reference app that um, I built basically just allowing you to see the different types of contents and actually learn about how to mark up the different types of uh, jQuery mobile pages, list views, grid layouts, and everything. Um, jQuery mobile just with the with no JavaScript allows you to build this with just by marking up your different contents and then now the learner once they tap on it they can go to different pages that are mobile optimized and see the different uh, elements, pictures, and uh, different things like that as well as go back to that type in a filter if they wanted to type it start typing something in and it will automatically filter that out that's the different types of things that you can do inside of jQuery mobile as well as grid views uh, grid layouts that allows you to optimize your content 
um, and automatically set grids and different that will automatically resize depending on the screen size. Collapsibles will hide and show your content depending on what you have um, visible and what settings you have. Nav bars will actually um, allow you for like bottom page navigation or anything like that. Uh, video, you can still use your basic HTML, video, audio, iframes, and then you can come into your form elements with text inputs, uh, mobile checkbox, radio buttons, and uh, swipe events, and other types of events there. So jQuery Mobile basically just allows me to, with just some simple markup, edit this type of, or create this type of application that can be either wrapped up inside a phone gap or, um, or actually just put on a website somewhere. Now that we've gotten a good idea of where to find jQuery Mobile, how to look up some of the elements of jQuery Mobile, and how to or what can be built using jQuery Mobile, let's go ahead and get started with the content. Now what we're going to do is explore some of this, um, how to use these different types of elements. So what I want to do is come in and explore, okay, how do we use buttons? How do we use headers? How do we use footers? And then we're going to start placing that content in and kind of manipulating and building our pages based on the contents that we build. Um, so first of all, we're going to explore the different elements and how to manipulate buttons and make them look different ways. And then we'll actually go in and say, okay, this is how you would use a button inside of normal content. Same thing with the headers and same thing with the list views. We'll go in and show you how to build the different list views, the different types of list views, have thumbnails, have icons, have text descriptions, have different uh, little icons on the right hand side as well as number uh, pop-ups as well. So all that different types of uh, the different types of formatting that we can do with each of these elements, we're going to explore that and then we're going to try to find some uh, application of how that would be used inside of your content when you're building your own jQuery mobile website. So let's go ahead and get started with the uh, first video of how to create different types of buttons.